my busy day hot dish is ultra hearty with layers of salty french fries baked right on top. Oh my good gosh, geez, it is incredible. I'm gonna start by melting four tablespoons of butter into my pot here. I'll add in two pounds of ground beef. I'll season it with a teaspoon of kosher salt and I'll cook it over medium high, breaking it up with my spoon until it's browned. While the beef finishes up browning, I'll chop up my veggies. I've got a red bell pepper. If you don't like red bell pepper, you could do carrots, onions, celery, anything. Just get the veggies in because this is about to get covered in cheese fries. So you gotta have something for balance. I've also got a few stalks of scallions, which will add nice freshness. Okay, I'll toss these in and let them get soft. I'm gonna reserve a few of the scallion greens to get sprinkled on at the end. These veggies are soft. I'm gonna add some corn for little bites of sweetness and fresh or frozen would both work. And if it's frozen, it thaws pretty much immediately when it hits this dish. I'll stir this right in. I'm gonna season this with two teaspoons of paprika, which will add a little smoky heat. And some black pepper. These are some good smells. Okay, this is looking and smelling good. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of all-purpose flour now. I'll stir this around and let the flour flavor cook off for a minute or two. And the combination of the flour and the butter that I added at the beginning creates a roux, and that's gonna thicken up my chicken stock to create the creamy sauce that binds this hot dish together. I'm gonna add two and a half cups of low sodium chicken stock gradually as I stir so that the sauce can be extra smooth. And you can use homemade or store-bought stock here. This is looking saucy. I'll stir in half a cup of heavy cream and then a tablespoon of Dijon mustard will add the perfect hit of punchiness. Mm -mm -mm. This just got real. I'll sprinkle in some fresh parsley, dill, and thyme to really give this hot dish some herbiness. Oh yeah, it's bubbly and thick. Mmm. I'm almost ready for my fries. Before I top, I want to taste to make sure that all the seasonings are where I want them to be. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how it could even get better. Oh wait, yes I do. By covering it in fries. Curly fried texture is the best texture. That is a hill I would die on. I would eat curly fries over other shapes of fries any day. Look at this mountain of fries. And a lot of them are gonna overlap. So then you get all these different textures. There are the fries on the bottom that soak up the hot dish mixture, and then the ones on top that get crispy. I'm very excited. Next, I'm gonna top it with cheese. And Swiss cheese goes beautifully with all of these brighter flavors. I love it. But any melty cheese will do. I'm just piling it on. I'm not holding back. That's it. I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes until the fries are crispy and the cheese is melty. <laughs> Look at those crispy curly fries. I can't wait to dig into this. I'm gonna finish it with my reserved scallions. Oh, I have to taste it. Mmm, mm-hmm. It's meaty, it's cheesy, there are hidden veggies. This has everything going for it. It's exactly what I needed.